Hello everybody, this is Stocky here and welcome to a quick tutorial video on how to install mods for Kerbal Space Program. Now I know I had a video of this previously on my channel but now that Kerbal Space Program has updated to version uh, 0 0.20 etc etc they've changed the way the mods are installed so I thought I would just do a quick video. It's pretty simple on how to do it but I thought I'd just make sure I cover it as well and I would also just quickly cover if you have an old version of a mod that you want to update how to do that as well because I know that I've had some trouble with that in the past so uh, basically you come here and you grab whatever mod it is you want to get for example right now uh, the Ferrum Aerospace Research has just updated so I can click download now and I'm going to save that into my folder where I save all of my mods for Kerbal Space Program and I just save them into a mods downloader directory it doesn't really matter where you save them as long as you remember where you save them that's what's important so now that that's downloaded when you open the mod up you will see that there are a number of folders uh, one for ships one for game data and one for source now pretty straightforward how to do this um, basically you want to open up your folder where you've installed Kerbal Space Program so I don't use Steam uh, if you have Steam it'll be in a different location but you basically want to go to the folder where you have these files now wherever you have these files you can see that the folders here match up so you've got game data you've got ships and then you've got another one called source. Now source you do not need the other two you do and basically to install the mod you just grab these folders and then you drop them into that Kerbal Space Program folder and it will put all the things in all the places that it needs to. Now for some mods they'll have the folder structured a little bit differently so I'll just see if I can find one of those for you um, let's have a look at Keythane no. Pretty much all of the new mods uh, know that the folders are set up like that. Okay, here's one that's a little bit different, but then once you open it up, it's the same. You're looking for that game data folder. Now, um, I seem to remember finding one that was a little bit different. Okay, here's one that's a little bit different. This one just has a plugins folder. Now, the way uh, this would normally work for older versions is you would just go here and copy the plugin in. But again, because this is for 20 point whatever, you want to go into game data and you'll have to create a new folder. In this case, I created one called subassembly loader. And then you just drag your plugins folder and you stick it in there. Now, if you have a, a much older mod, for example, I have um, the payload pack that I like to use. Basically, when you open that up, it's going to have just a whole lot of parts you might think, well, where do you put those parts? Well, what you do is you come into your game data again, you create a folder, in this case I called it payload pack, and then you create a parts folder within that, and then you copy everything in. Now, this is a very important thing if you're using an older mod like I am. You now have to open up each folder for each part and open up each part.cfg file, and you need to make sure the very first line before anything else has this. PART has to be in capitals, space, open curly brace, and in the very last line, yeah, it's gonna, there we go, the very last line has to be close that curly brace. Uh, if you put part in not all uppercase, or you don't put those two things, it won't recognize the older parts. Now basically everything is installed and ready to go, and all you have to do now is double click on KSP, and it will load it up and all the parts will be there. Um, if you have any problems with doing any of this, uh, feel free to uh, post a comment on this channel or PM me on YouTube. Always happy to help as much as I can. Like I said, just trying to keep this video as short as I can, so thank you very much for watching. Oh, one final thing that I will suggest. A lot of mods, when they give you a new one, and this one that I've just downloaded now, which is Ferrum's Aerospace Research, is a perfect example. When I go to install this, it will install differently than it did previously and the reason for that is it has a bunch of different part setups and it has a bunch of different modules what I would suggest and this is just a personal preference you don't have to but I would suggest you always do this open up your game data folder and see what things are changed by the new mod then go back in and you can see here I have Ferrum Aerospace Research and Module Manager delete those before you copy the new ones because sometimes for example if we go into 
um, let's pick this one here, we go into parts you can see that they are all named in a certain way now when the mod developer releases a new version of the mod he might decide to change how this is named slightly and then you can end up with duplicate parts some of which don't work if you just drag and drop it over the top without uh, deleting the old one first so that's pretty much it thank you very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this quick video on how to install mods for the new version of Kerbal Space Program until next time a stocky out